Look, this PAMU bus depot is hugely significant. It's the first fully electric bus depot in New Zealand. It's also the largest fully electric bus depot in Australasia. Uh, and we're delighted to, to be now launching it and opening it. So we've got 35 electric buses operating out of this depot. Um, they join a fleet of uh, getting up to around 100 electric buses nationwide for NZ bus, but also we run electric buses within the Go Bus business as well as part of the Kinetic Group. And so we're, we're fast on our way to achieving the milestone of about 300 electric vehicles over the next couple of years. Yeah, it used to operate 44 diesel vehicles out of this depot. Um, and so you can see the impact that putting the charging infrastructure has on the capacity of the depot, down, now down to 35 electric vehicles. Uh, and look, it's a long time in the planning, a lot of consenting, a lot of uh, collaboration between eight, ourselves and AT, uh, Vector as well. Uh, and, uh, and then six months of work in the depot while it's been a live depot trying to operate around the construction work that's needed to be done. What kind of feedback have you had from drivers and passengers on um, riding electric buses? Well look everybody loves a new bus first and foremost um, but a new electric bus is quite special because it's a, it's a lot quieter, a lot smoother, you're not getting the rattling that you might get in a diesel bus, you're not getting the noise that you might get in a diesel bus so, so our drivers are loving them, our passengers are loving them but also and just as importantly people in cafes and, and so on around the place where these buses might go past are noticing the difference as well and it's fantastic. Yeah. Well look, we have another 44 electric buses going into our Newland depot uh, in the middle of this year and then that'll be followed by um, more, de more electric buses going into that depot the following year and we'll also be electrifying our Glenfield depot. So we would be at around 300 vehicles uh, nationally uh, at that point, um, but we aspire to, to ultimately move everything into electric. So uh, we're, we're working with our council partners, uh, they have different timetables obviously and different funding requirements but uh, you know we're fast on the way to having 10% of the fleet electric. It is significant because this is the first time we have delivered a full depot that has been planned and developed in collaboration with both NZ Bus and their contractors but also with Vector. We are we ensuring that the power, the charging is uh, occurring during the low peak demand. So we had managed the investment necessary by Vector to a minimum and we still provide reasonable and reliable uh, power supply for this depot. Is significant cost savings yet operating electric buses? Um, through the trials that we have visibility of by electric bus trials, we know that the operation, operating cost savings can be up to 50% less than diesel buses, particularly as we still enjoy the a reduction or a, um, exemption from the road user charges. The, so we know that from this work that the cost of investing in one of these buses, which is higher than diesel bus, is offset on an annualized basis by the um, low operating costs. The, the higher cost of transition is really driven by the cost of infrastructure, the consenting, the planning, the uh, high voltage power connection, and all the construction works associated with this project of the scale increase the cost significantly, given that our economy and our construction sector in particular enjoyed, not so much enjoyed, but suffered from quite a um, steep cost escalation over the last two or three years.